Hey there, Leos. Thank you so much for tuning in. My name is Carolyn B. I'm the one who's going to be uh, just talking with you for a brief moment, maybe pulling a few cards for November 2020. I want to uh, give a big shout out and especially thank Nicole here uh, in Spiritual Guidance Academy for allowing me to share uh, on this uh, on her platform as well. So thank you so much. I'm actually having all the uh, signs here working with selenite. Selenite is a great crystal, very low maintenance, very easy to take care of when it comes to possibly helping to purify your environments. You know, uh, I understand we're in interesting times, things can get crazy, especially if you've got, you know, kids, a, a big family, even your fur babies, and they just want your attention, possibly having to take your business at home. Uh, you know, this is great too for traveling. You could put it in your glove box of the car, you know, just put it in your pocket wherever you go. And that is going to help when it comes to purifying that also helps enhancing and purifying any abilities that um, a lot of you on here do have. So thank you so much. And I appreciate you, Leos. OK, uh, you are a fire sign at rolling planet or star, if you will, is the sun. So this reading could have to do with love or lack thereof. I understand a lot of you are in different areas of your life. OK, uh, some of this could have to do with health, you know, uh, career, wealth, lack thereof. This could have to do with friends, family, really anything very generalized, you know, just kind of stopping on by and saying hello and just seeing what cards you may have for November 2020. Also, too, feel free to check out my channel as well if you'd like more of your free generalized readings or if you're interested. Okay, so let's see. What do our angels and our spirit guides have for our Leos when it comes to November 2020? Okay, my dear fire signs. Okay, we have the eagle right here, and it says here, see from a higher perspective. All right. Uh, this is really screaming out to me freedom or possibly not really feeling that freedom that you want to have, whether it's going outside. Uh, and it's really no shocker here. I mean, with the times that we are in right now and all that's going on in the world, the stress and all of that, you know, uh, this is definitely looking at things from a higher perspective, having to take the high road a lot, my Leo's. And I understand that freedom from possibly anything that you're having to work on when it comes to yourself. Freedom from yourself is a big one. You know, uh, cross watcher, pull up a seat. This reading can go vice versa. May have nothing to do with you, not gender specific, anything like that. All right. Look at those talons. Look at those claws. What are you sinking your claws into? Is this a new project, a new career path, a possible new relationship? Possibly if you're already in a relationship, maybe amping that up a bit. OK, also, it's just like Carolyn, I'm sick and tired of having to take the high road all the time. You know, um, I deserve freedom. I deserve happiness. I deserve uh, all the love in the world. And yes, you're absolutely right. You do. OK, uh, this is also having to approach things from a different way that you are used to them before. And that can be very scary. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I completely understand what a lot of you are going through. This is really screaming uh, for some of you that may be at work or in a career or maybe refining your path with that, with all that's going on. I feel like that. A lot of you are having to take the high road and um, I'm also like sensing somebody out there just being like a finger pointer at you like, well, they did this and they did that and they're putting on like this act or whatever. Oh, no. Oh, no. We're going to get silly here for a minute, my Leos, because I need to get this point across to you. OK, um, I don't want this to be boring. And, you know, but I feel like that a lot of you are dealing with an energy that's kind of like this. Ever remember that movie, um, American Pie, American Wedding, when Stifler there turns into Steven, his alter ego to, you know, really get one in on his friend and he pretends to be this perfect uh, preppy, whatever. So and he's wearing one of these and he's just like, oh, my. Oh, dear. Are those, uh, you know, Sylvana's sweets right there? You know, uh, oh my gosh, it's so awful. I know I shouldn't eat those, but I'll just do it. Or, 
You know, it's best if you decide who's going to hold on to the ring. You make your decision. It's like this whole fake facade thing. And then you see, you know, the other character there. He's just like, oh, my God, are they really putting on this act? You know, uh, are they really putting on this facade? Because we all know who this person really is. So we all have a person like that, you know, in this life that we have to deal with, whether it's somebody at work, you know, they're just putting on this, like acting all perfect and, you know, they can do no wrong and they're acting all like saint, saint like, you know. I would never do anything like that or oh my or oh gee and this and that and this and that and you're just sitting there just like I cannot believe the nerve the audacity that this person is trying to pull it seems like you are and again cross watcher this can go vice versa it, it could be I'm sorry uh, Samantha Sweets I believe is what he said in the movie so sorry if I butchered that but it's just like this facade that he puts on when you know darn well that you know when he's not putting or he or she this could be a he or she that's not putting on the act there you know this is not gender specific that you know in the background you're like f this and f that and you know uh however this is a playful energy and i'm smiling because i feel like that some of you could be working with this some of you could be working with um somebody that you are really in love with and it's just like okay you don't have to be a psychic or a reader on any level to know that we've all been hurt in the past, right? Those are just pure facts. That's life, okay? That's like uh, going through life without saying I haven't gotten a, a cut, scrape, or bruise by accident, whatever, you know? And I feel like some of you are really dealing with uh, some type of... Again, cross watcher, I'm just the messenger. I could just go vice versa. Maybe I have nothing to do with you. It could have to do with a, a work partner, you know, somebody at work, again, a friend, a relative, maybe, and they're putting on this show act, you know, uh, and it's just like, I want freedom away from that type of behavior, you know, uh, however, sometimes it's funny to watch, uh, but at the same time, it's just Leo's, you've got that intuitive knowing, you know, you're pretty much like right on it. You can see how a person's acting and you're just like, wow, what a BS artist. Oh my, I can't believe that this other person's actually falling for this. You know, maybe you feel like you've fallen for something. Uh, I've been guilty of that too. You know, falling for a person's act. You know, I've also been accused too of putting on an act, you know, and it's just like, okay, nobody here is perfect. However, uh, let's look a little bit further into this. Now I'm really interested here, my Leos, okay? Let's look a little bit further into love. And it's painful. It, it really is. And it's not fun. And again, uh, you know, I'm not saying that this is necessarily happening to all of you. Maybe this message doesn't resonate and that's okay all right let's look a little bit into love i'm asking my angels and spirit guides to please come through if there's any particular messages let's get our sleeves rolled up for our leos november 2020 here all right it says be authentic to who you are isn't that funny how i was just putting on that act right there that oh i'm so perfect my name's steven you know uh what, what was he saying in the movie and his name's stifler but he's like oh i'm steven and they're just like, oh, my God, I cannot believe that this guy is doing this and this lady is falling for this, you know, uh, being easily persuaded. And that's not to say that anyone is uneducated or anything like that. It happens to all of us, you know, or somebody, again, could be like, you're not being the OK. So you're asked to be real and true pertaining to who you are and how you feel. Do some of you out there feel like that you may be having to put on an act in order not to get somebody angry? I've had to do it in the past. Oh, yeah. You know, um, if I did the wrong thing, then, oh, boy. <laughs> Talk about hell and a wrath to pay. That's a whole other story for a whole other different day. Uh, but this is asking you to be true to how you feel. Somebody here really wants your attention. Now, is this good attention? Is this bad attention? Uh, you know, and you'll hear people saying, you know, well, that's what Leos are about. You know, they want attention and this and that. Well, I think that a lot of the times they get uh, really 
people get things misconstrued when it comes to Leos. They genuinely want to help people. They really do. And it's not for the accolades. It's not for them to be like, hey, I gave to this charity and, you know, I helped this person out. It's not so you can make a checklist and then you could put it out for the world to see. You generally do things uh, for people because you generally want you're a good person and you want to help them. And there's nothing wrong with that. However, maybe be mindful, you know, and we'll work on this together. How about that? You know, not giving that attention to the wrong person because that can very easily happen here. All right. Uh, and it's just like you see, she just kind of leaned up against, you know, the cave here. You've got this beautiful background, this darkness here. All right. And it's just like, you know, when's the light at the end of the tunnel? You're almost there. It's like you're right there. You see this beautiful thing. This is your higher self looking at you, your higher selves, you know, um, and with that gorgeous swan hat right there swan representation of love also representation with their uh you know their necks are a little bit longer so they can dive in deep to the depths you know to get to the bottom of things so some of you may be finding yourself doing that as well or possibly somebody that you know all right but uh what i am liking and seeing here is that again uh, i understand a lot of you are in different areas of your life you know somebody here really loves you uh possibly they are into maybe they're a musician possibly uh you know working with instruments possibly they are into the arts or whatever it is uh maybe they're into poetry stuff like that you know a cook something just came up about that uh also too we've got the trapeze artist here in the background it's just like okay <laughs> Somebody, and this can be very, very positive. However, okay, one of two ways that this can go. All right, somebody's either putting on a, a complete act here, or somebody is really, uh, they may be putting on an act in a more positive way, and it's just like because they want your attention, uh, because they see the way that you've been treated in the past, and they're just not cool with that. They don't like that. And there is somebody out there for you, okay? So that's wonderful. I'm really liking this. You know, uh, some of you may be rolling your eyes right now like, this, this girl don't know what she's talking about. All right. But this is also being authentic and having to say no and create boundaries. And boy, does that ruffle some feathers and get people angry. Oh, I know all about that, you know. Uh, and this is also your higher self just kind of looking at you and your angels, your spirit guides, letting you know that everything will be OK. All right. Uh, there is going to be a breaking dawn within the storm here. There is a light at the end of the tunnel. So that's wonderful. Really liking that energy. Absolutely. All right. Let's pull you one more card. And actually, we're going to pull you this card here as well as signs to be uh, on the lookout for. Some of you could be working with some earth signs here. OK, we have the two of earth here. It says here, you know, too much going on at once. Uh, for those that may be unfamiliar, earth signs should be working with Capricorn, Taurus, possibly Virgo energies. Uh, the need to make a decision, uh, a more playful approach. So some of you could be needing to take that more uh, playful approach, kind of taking a, a step back, you know, taking care of yourself here. Also, when it comes to business, you're going to be slam dunking that. Look at that. Uh, you've got a fairy here and this orb of energy slam dunking that. So that's wonderful here. We also have the five of wands, uh, five numerology angel numbers very, very, very quickly. You know, two can mean partnerships, whether it's love, whether it's career, uh, the list goes on and on. Five things happening very quickly, very quickly, sometimes very uncomfortable. All right. Some of you could also be working with fire energies, too. Then when it comes to fire energies. You could be working with Sagittarius, maybe, you know, Aries, possibly Leo, Leo energy. Or this could be a depiction of yourself. But look at all those people fighting over you. Wow. Look at that. OK. Isn't that something? Or do you feel like you're fighting um, with a, a group of people, possibly, you know, if this does have to do with career or anything, really family, friends, children, maybe for some of you, it's just like a, a battle here. But I'm seeing this more positive. People are fighting over you. Whether you believe so or not, you actually do have your choices when it comes to the pick of the litter. So I'm excited to hear what you all have to say. Hopefully this reading was helpful to somebody out there. Thank you so much and until next time.